What is going on, people? It is your boy Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi Fi battle. We are against Brian, who is also in the Discord server. I've been battling a lot of my friends who've been in the Discord server, and I've met a lot of good people, and um, Brian is one of them. So, we're against Brian, bringing a really cool team. I had a feeling he was going to be using this team also. He got the Landorus, the Corviknight, Tapu Koko, the, um, what's your name? Halucha. Kiram and the Slowbro, who's Assault Vest. I saw part of his moveset. Um, I'm gonna try not to remember. <laughs> and I know it sounds ironic because I have a pretty good memory for the most part. Um, man, it sucks because I know that his Kiram has the specs also, and I have an idea of what the other uh, um, Pokemon have. So I feel I'm trying just forget it all. Forget it. But okay. So what is it going to start with? Probably the Landorus would be my guess. I want a Sharpedo. I do want a Sharpedo because if he starts Landorus, then we're okay. We can um, we can just flip turn out of there. I didn't pay so much attention to his team because I did want to battle him and I did not want to. What a Lee card. What a Lee card. That is a dope Lee card. Okay, so here we go. What we're gonna do is we're going to um oh you, you king the landerus i knew it i knew it you're gonna set up them rocks aren't you you're gonna set up them rocks and you're just gonna make me cry a little bit because you got that intimidates yeah this isn't looking good for us okay so we got the air balloon so we can't necessarily earthquake but he can u-turn which is um, not good for us unfortunately i'm just gonna take this turn to liquidation here liquidation if he goes u-turn oh he outspeeds me that's a scarf. That's a scarf, Landorus. Okay. Okay. Oh, you king just takes our Sharpedo like that. That is messed up, bruh. That is messed. Okay. So this team, um, I have mixed feelings about, to be honest. It's not as bad as the team we built around, um, what's his name? Around, um, it's not Oranguru. It's Zarud. Um, but it's, it's not looking like the sharpest team in the world, unfortunately. So what we're going to do, we're just going to Electivire, kind of nullify the uh, ability for Tapu Koko to hit us with the electric type attacks. And we're just going to hit him with an, um, probably not an earthquake, but a fire punch. Because if you go into Corviknight, then all is good for us. You go U-turn. Yeah. It's interesting that you're running U-turn instead of Bolt Switch. Is this a physical Coco? Come on, go into Corviknight. I know you want to go into Corviknight. Go into Corviknight. Oh, we use King again. Oh, my goodness. That's his best Pokemon. Can we get the burn, please? That's all I ask for. Can we please get the burn? Fire Punch. Burn. Burn? No, no burn. Okay. Probably going to U-turn again. Considering that, I'm going to go to Togekiss. This is my safest switch in. The reason being is because if I, I, I am afraid of the earthquake because I can't necessarily take an earthquake with most of my Pokemon. I don't got any Scarfers, unfortunately. Come on, you turn again. Okay, that's what I thought. If he goes Corviknight, I do have the Mystical Fire for him. If he goes Coco, then uh, I'm not afraid of Coco. I'm going to go into Electivire every single time. That or Melmetal. I mean, I am a Salt Vest, so. Okay, Tapu Coco comes out again. Tapu! Okay. Very good switch in. And what I'm going to do is, uh, like I said earlier, I do not want to play so predictable and go into Electivire. So I'm actually going to come into my boy Melmetal and then see what I can do from there. We'll see. Dazzling Gleam, I take those. I'm Assault Vest. Easy. Easy peasy. What do I do next, you may ask? Jeez, I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm going to just Thunder Punch here. I mean, if he goes into... What does this do? Flinch. You're going to Bolt Switch. Man, I have no answer for the Lando. What I'm going to do, though, I'm going to predict a Bolt Switch here. I'm going to predict the Bolt Switch, or the U-Turn. Sorry about that. Go into Dragapult. If you go into your boy uh, Landorus, I'm going to Will-O-Wisp. U-Turn. Okay, that's what I thought. Easy. We take those. Go into Landorus. I dare you. Regardless, though, Landorus not... <laughs> we can't do nothing against Landorus. Oh, that's a bummer. 
that's a big bummer because Dragapult is a very frail Pokemon. I'm playing the Switch game very, very well. Landorus, on the other hand, is going to knock us out with an Earthquake. It's going to knock us out with the Earthquake. I'm pretty certain of it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just Will-O-Wisp here. If you decide... Come on, Dragapult. Please live an attack for me. Please. I know you're frail. You're as frail as they come. But you got to be tough for those babies of yours. I know you throw your babies, so you probably don't even care about them. But you got to be tough for them babies. I know because I'm a dad. And uh, I think my I think my Dragapult's a boy, but I, and you're a dad or a mom. I, I don't know. All right, self rock. I'm good with that. 100% cool with that. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit you with the Will O Wisp. Why? Why? Okay. That sucks a lot. That's the worst thing that could have happened to us. It was perfect too. Oh man, Pokemon, I hate you sometimes. I really hate you sometimes. Okay. Why? Okay, I cannot get over that. I'm a little frustrated because of that. But Willow is the Taku Coco. Just get a little bit of residual damage on it. Does not hurt to get that. And I'm gonna predict. Um, he's probably gonna U-turn. No, he's gonna go for the Electric type attack. That or the Fairy. So probably Fairy. I'm gonna go Mel Metal. Never hurts to go into Mel Metal as my switch for this. Man, that Willow is dodge came in clutch. This is why Landorus is OU King. For sure. Thunderbolt. Okay. Man, imagine if I went into. Oh, goodness. That did a lot of damage. That did too much. Okay. I cannot afford to play chicken all game long. I'm going to double Iron Bash here. I have to do some damage to most of to some of his Pokemon at least. We take that. Easy. Tapu Koko went to Brian. Okay. Uh, this is upsetting. This is rough. Okay, who is this? Oh, nice. That's a, that's pretty good. That's not bad. And he's probably rock packing the Rocky Helmet. I'm pretty sure he, I'm confident he's packing Rocky Helmet, actually. All four of nice pack Rocky Helmet. Yikes, that does damage. Okay. Unfortunately, we are going down next turn. That's a crit! It's a crit! What you gonna do about it? Knock me out next turn, probably. Um... I'm gonna I'm just gonna Thunder Punch. If he roosts, I, I I really hope I would have gone for it, the high horsepower. I hope he doesn't roost because I'm gonna cry if he does. Alright, don't roost, please, whatever you do. Whatever you do, don't roost. That's all I ask. He's probably thinking about it. I have no speed EVs or IVs and EVs, so. Regardless, I'll probably go down. I probably will go down here. Oh, I should have... I knew it! I need to stop second-guessing myself. That's what happened with the Emerald Miner. Man, I am so salty right now. I'm just going to Thunder Punch. We're going to go downward starting from scratch. Some damage, for sure. For sure. Okay. So, that paid off for him. It paid off. Okay, so I'm gonna Electivire here, or should I Dragapult? I'm gonna Dragapult here, and we're just gonna hit this thing with a Flamethrower, because I know Corviknight is more bulky in the defensive side than special defense, so Flamethrower is gonna do some pretty good damage, at least I, I like to say. Okay, we're gonna Flamethrower it up here. We're gonna Flamethrower, and we're gonna win this. Flamethrower, Corviknight, one of his biggest threats, probably gonna go down here, I'm Specs. Easy. Corver Knight goes down. Probably gonna go into Landorus next if he does. I'm honestly just going to go out into Togekiss. Unfortunately, my answer to, to Tapu Koko went down. And quite frankly, my only answer. So Tapu Koko comes in, probably gonna hit us with the Dazzling Gleam. And um, things are not looking so good for us. It's not looking good. What do I wanna do next, you may ask? Reuniclus. I mean, that's the best thing I got for this thing. Oh, man. If you know, if you knew how salty I was, 
you guys would be you guys are probably are laughing because I that will always miss um, I'm still thinking about that heavily dazzling gleam again I'm cool with it I wish I was a salt best reuniclus but I'm not unfortunately I am not so what I'm gonna do here I wish I had will-o-wisp on this thing I don't think it actually carries will-o-wisp I don't think it can learn it okay we're gonna recover because I know this thing is probably gonna Thunderbolt A or B U-turn and it U-turns. We should be able to take a U-turn from this thing and we're gonna recover that damage up. Topo Coco goes back. You're probably gonna go into Landorus. The reason I'm recovering is because if I do, I don't think I'm gonna switch because I have no more switches, switches left. But if I do, I'll at the very least be able to recover um, the damage that I... Not, not necessarily the damage, but I'll be able to recover and recover again, so to speak, with the Regenerator. Okay, this is my chance to kind of hit the Landorus or something. This actually should bring me back to full health, and does. Okay, so that was a good play on my end, so kudos to me. Okay, um, I think we just side Shock here. Or go into Togekiss, which one? I kind of want to predict the earthquake. We're gonna predict earthquake here. I'm not playing. I'm not playing around with this Landorus. I'm not playing around with this thing. No way. I'm playing around with this thing. Okay. So we take some massive damage, unfortunately. And you're gonna hit me with the U-turn. Oh, you got me. You got me good. I knew I should have played aggressive and just side shock. I knew I had to do that, but I didn't. But I did not. Tapu Koko comes out again, and this thing's just gonna clap me. I can't switch into two earthquakes. Oh, you know what? Actually, I got an idea. I'm gonna Electivire here. I'm gonna Electivire. Predicting the electric type attack. And then um, I think we can do something. <laughs> I really, I had a feeling I should have put Ice Punch on Electivire. Dazzling Gleam. Okay, that's the best play you could have done. Part of me wanted to stay into Togekiss, but I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think it's worth. We're staying in. We're just Earthquake. Part of me wanted to run also a Scarfed Electivire, but I always feel like damage is as important. Part and obviously, I should have put a Scarf on this thing because I could have at least stood a chance against the Landorus. So now, next time I know, plan for um, OU Pokemon if you want to use underrated Pokemon. And that goes for you as well. Okay, Reuniclus is going to come in and we're going to take a lot of damage, unfortunately, from this. Um, we're going to take a lot of damage from this Coco. Too much damage, if you ask me. So I'm going to Sight Shock here. Best thing I have against this thing, unfortunately. Just picking my team off one by one. Picking my team off. Slowly but surely. I mean, I, I really have nothing against this thing. U-turn. And I'm just going to side shock here. What do you? What else does he have in the back? He has the Kyurem. Which is obviously very scary. He has the Landorus. The Tapu Koko. And Edgelord. Who is this? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, this uh, Galarian Slowbro. So this is good for us. Because it does... Hmm... I forgot it's part psychic. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start putting some Calm Minds up. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I got to do. I know this thing is probably back in Sludge... Oh, I was gonna say Shadow Bomb, but I read Sludge Bomb. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna Calm Mind here. We're gonna go two recovers. That's what I gotta do to win this. Mm, tight Grin right now. I'm running a tight grin right now. All right. Maybe I call mine again. I'm going to call mine once more because I feel like I can take one more, uh, well, two more attacks from this low king after I, um, after I get another call mind up. So I'll be able to take this attack. What are you going for that I'm going first? What do you have? Is it a speed tie? Is that just what it is? I'm pretty sure it is actually. Sledge bomb. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Unfortunately, it gets the poison, so it offsets my, my uh, leftovers. But now I got to recover here. I have to recover. I got a feeling this is going to end in a timeout. 
That's what I'm thinking. Okay. We're gonna recover here. We have to. The good thing is that we got the um, focus blast for the Kyrium. So that makes me that makes me happy. Okay, sludge bomb again. That's perfectly fine. I really want to calm mind again, but I don't know if I should. I think I am. I'm gonna calm mind one more time because I don't. I also don't want this thing to go for the eerie spell. And then next thing you know, I'm left out at 3 PP on my recover. So I'm gonna call mind again. Now I'm at a plus three. So things are looking a little bit better than what they were earlier. This is the perfect opportunity for me to set up against this low king because it's not gonna take me out. Unless it, it unless it hits me with the crit, which I really hope it doesn't. Okay, recover once more, and then we're gonna hit this thing with the side shock, and then we're good. Maybe we recover twice and then hit it, hit it with the side shock. That's what we're gonna do. Woo! You're scaring me, my boy. Brian, your team is really scary, and I'm really surprised that my team has been keeping up. Not as much as yours is picking me one by one, picking me off, but it's keeping up. Okay, I know you want to switch. You withdraw. Okay, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Recover. Okay. I'm not afraid of this Landorus like I was earlier, to be honest. Okay, that's some pretty good health restored. And then the Sludge Bomb, or the, the poison from the Sludge Bomb, is going to put our health a little bit lower. Oh, that's, that's a lot of health. Okay. We side shock here. Can we please knock out this OU King? Live at least one attack and knock this thing out. Okay, I'm cool. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yes, we are definitely good. That's what defensive investment does for you. That's what it does for us. Okay. Curium is a very scary Pokemon. I do not want that thing coming in. Edgeor comes again. It comes in again. So, he, so to speak, he sacks this thing off. Side shock. I don't think it'll actually be enough to knock out, but it's close. Yeah, it's very close. Very close. I'm just gonna recover it up. It's a speed tie, so I'm recovering. We're recovering. Man, I feel bad for stalling him like this, but it's my best chance at winning. It's my best chance at winning, and I kind of have to do this. Sledge Bomb again, and I'm honestly going to recover once more because I want to make sure that, and I'm hoping I'll go, I'll go second, because I really want to make sure that I can take an attack from this uh, Landorus and basically anything else on this team. I really hate the fact that this thing poisoned me. Okay. Okay, so I do go second. That's exactly what I wanted. And then we basically get our health back up to what uh, whatever it can get, essentially. It can't go any more higher than this. Okay. Now, I believe I'm going to outspeed next turn. Watch me. Watch me outspeed you next turn. I'm going to side shock here. And then you're going to bring in the Curium, and I'm going to surprise you with my Focus Blast. Okay. Side shock. Here we go. All right, so Reuniclus gets... He's hanging in there. <laughs> I don't know how, but Reuniclus got a fighting spirit. Three minutes till the battle end, so it's probably going to end in a draw, unfortunately. Oh, this battle. This battle got me pumped. I think I, I can still win this. I'm pretty sure I can. I just got to get rid of this... Um, what is it called? Landorus. That's the biggest threat in this team. It's the Landorus. And Tapu Koko. So those are actually the two threats I need to get rid of. Curium I can get rid of with my Electivire. Actually, is Electivire still up? So I got Togekiss. I got Reuniclus. And I think it is Electivire. Okay, OU's King comes out. I really, really want to hit this thing. Well, I can't really hit it. But I really want to recover here. Yeah, so I got the Dragapult, not the um, other Pokemon that I thought I had. I'm going to recover again. You're going to U-turn or you're going to Earthquake, one of the two. And I'm just going to recover. Okay, we take the we take the attack like I anticipated. You can go into Curium. Or, Co or Coco. I'm down for either or. 
because I'm pretty sure I can take out Coco from the range it's at. Halucha, I can take that out too, my friend. I'm almost certain I can take that thing out. Okay, health is up. Pretty good. Um, oh, this poison damage is killing me. <laughs> Literally. Okay. I'm just going to try to get this as close as possible. We're going to side shock here. I should be able to take an attack from this Halucha. I don't think it has anything that can knock us out. Stone Edge. Hits. We take it. And here comes that side shock. Boom. Halucha goes down. Oh my goodness. This is going to end in a draw, unfortunately. Well... I'm just proud that this team hung on, especially Reuniclus. Reuniclus is the only Pokemon that hung out um, to the end, to be honest, because his whole team knocks, not only gets knocked out by Land, well, his whole team knocks my team out with Landorus and Tapu Koko alone. Alone. Okay. Gosh, I don't think I can take another, um, another U turn here. We're just going to recover it up. That's it. You turn again. I should have predicted that. And we live. Oh. <laughs> that was a fail. Disconnected my headphone. There you go. And we recover here. I mean, the draw is a draw. A draw is a draw. Frozen comes out the Curium, which pressures my Pokemon now, but I got... I really wish I could stay till the end. I'm pretty sure Reuniclus would be able to just take the rest of his team out. I'm almost certain. I'm almost certain. But it is what it is. We won't be able to see it, unfortunately. But that's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. This was a really good Wi-Fi battle. I'm just going to focus blast here. That's just going to say it's a draw. I lost to Brian. But uh, it's a draw to me. But... Yeah, three and three. That was a heck of a Wi-Fi battle. I'm surprised Reuniclus stuck in there. Um, Brian, I'm taking your lead card. That's a really cool lead card of yours. But that's going to be it for this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure that you guys leave a like. Comment down below. MVP Reuniclus, just saying. And subscribe to my channel for more sword, Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battles. It's your boy Daddy Max signing off. I'll see you guys next time.